Hi everyone, my name is Yogesh and today we are going to talk about that uh, how can we excel in college placements, right? So that's a very subjective question, but uh, you can take advantage of that. Why? Because uh, when you're applying on campus, right? So there's a high possibility that you are uh, competing among uh, a group of students or like a, like a limited number of students, right? When you are applying in comparison to the off campus. So that's a really plus for you. Of, of course, the other point depends upon the criteria that uh, the company that you are applying. For example, if you are applying for a product based company, then they specifically look for uh, good in data structures and algorithms and problem solving skills right and some basics of uh, computer network things dbms operating system that is com computer fundamentals while on the other hand there are the companies uh, like some service based companies tcs wipro and uh, uh, cognizant right and lot of uh, the other companies also where they also check the aptitude portion of the student the thing is that it depends upon the company that you are trying to look upon so what i will suggest you that how can you actually your college placement is first of all which Whichever company you are targeting right make a sheet of it or go through the different interview experiences because it's not always like uh, that uh, the question or the kind of questions they used to ask earlier they are asking same right so there could be the possibility that there is a new trend going on for example if you are applying for a company like Goldman Sachs so Goldman Sachs the first round is of course the aptitude round although you could be a good programmer or good problem solver solver but there are uh, a hell lot of students you could find on the internet that they are really good in competitive programming or coding but not good in uh, aptitude also right so if you want to really excel in these things so there should be a proper balance so i won't say that you should be only good in computer fundamentals or operating system or dbms and you should not care about the programming solving skills right so you should be finding a perfect balance among that right and other than that you should also try to maintain a decent ccpa because some people say that uh, uh, ccpa doesn't matter and all those stuff but do stay away from that people i mean what's the harm in getting uh, a good decent ccpa right so if you say about uh, 7.5 or sometimes 8 ccpa although uh, this ccpa doesn't play very much role uh, until or unless you are applying for for a uh, for a masters in a foreign country or like if you want to do masters after your graduation or doing btech right the one thing that matters for this maintaining uh, cgpa is because of the uh, shorted shorting criteria for example for example if uh, microsoft visits your campus right so and they do want to pick the students they don't want that there are considered there are 3000 students in csc so they do not want to take test or like interview all those students so what will they say they will say ask the university get me the top students so the university put the criteria generally they do they do the criteria so that they can filter out the students so do make sure that you do uh, these things right and other than that uh, of course whenever you are applying for a, for any company so it's not uh, always about that uh, that your college placements are starting next month and you will start uh, learning from this month only right so of course data structures algorithm computer fundamentals or aptitude these can't be uh, skilled overnight right at least uh, you should give six months to one year uh, to achieve those things because not only these skills but also sometimes you will also have to make a good resume you'll also have to put good projects over there so you should also have good command over in development either you are doing web development machine learning android and anything i'm not saying that that's compulsory but that would be a big edge when the resume shortlisting or CV shortlisting is going on, right? They do take care about that. Other than that, uh, that's how uh, the thing works. That's how the, they short uh, students from that pool, right? And other than that, you can also try to participate in online coding contests because that helps you in so much because ultimately when you are studying for the college placement, uh, your competition is among your uh, peers, right? Or among your students uh, who are already sitting with you. So that mental pressure that you bear, so it, it really helps you in that. And other than that, if you have already done a couple of internships pre previously, so that also helps in that, but not necessarily. But of course it is a plus point for that thing too right i hope uh, so these were the things that were able to help you but uh, as one thing i want to say overnight you can't achieve anything you'll have to make a proper plan so do make uh, study well right okay thank you that's all from my side